This is John Paul Ryan. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This story here is about Brad Pitt and his new girlfriend. Now, usually, when a guy gets a girlfriend, two people get together, I don't have a story. I cover Johnny Depp for Samba Heard quite a bit on this channel, and I haven't even looked up Johnny Depp's new girlfriend. I hear he has one. I don't even know, because I don't even care so much at this point. But I'm going to assume that Johnny Depp's new girlfriend isn't already married in an open marriage, whatever exactly that is. I guess they call them swingers, but I'm not up to date on all the married people dating terminology and things like that. So let's take a look here. Bad Pitt's 27-year-old girlfriend, Nicole, very difficult to say last name, but I'll try. Puchorowski speaks for the first time since romance started, and please don't hold my feet to the fire on that last name, because that is not an easy one. So, of course, she seems to be, you know, putting up all these pictures, enjoying herself, flaunting the fact she's with Brad Pitt, and okay, I guess that's her right and everything. But this kind of struck me as a little bit questionable. Daily Mail broke the story. Nicole is reportedly still married to her husband, Roland Mary. The two allegedly have an open relationship. A source said Roland is not jealous of Nicole's romance with the actor. So you marry somebody, then they date a rich and famous actor, and you're just kind of cool with it. I wouldn't be personally. The source told the outlet they are still married, but you could describe their relationship as an open marriage. He has been married several times and has five children. He is not interested in negativity or jealousy. His name is also Elon Musk. Because if you know, Elon Musk has, I think, five, and he's actually not married. I always keep thinking Elon Musk is married because he's got five kids, and I've said that by mistake, but it turns out he's actually not even married. But this guy is married with five kids, but he's cool with his wife dating Brad Pitt. So like I said, if this is like some relationship, normally Brad Pitt's dating a younger woman, okay, fine. No video. But the fact she's already married kind of makes me think, why? And here you see her. She's just, you know, making her little... I guess it's from Instagram, I'm going to guess. I can't see because, you know, my screen's a little messed up here. But yeah, probably Instagram. So, there it is. And, you know, they go on to the fact that Brad Pitt is in this whole legal thing with Angelina Jolie, with the divorce money, and, you know, unlike Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, you know, Amber pretty much started with nothing before she met Johnny, but Angelina Jolie has her own fortune, so that's probably a pretty interesting case to follow. Obviously, there's not the same amount of drama, as far as I know, there was no abuse going on, nothing like that. So it's more of like a normal divorce case. But I always find these things somewhat interesting. And as you guys know, Ewan McGregor is getting a divorce or got a divorce. It's in process and he lost a ton of freaking money. Haven't got around to reporting on that. You know, at some point I might because I follow Star Wars news and I follow him because he's still going to be in the Obi-Wan show coming up. But back to this. So yeah, I mean, Brad Pitt, I'm not sure what he's thinking. He's this mega rich, mega famous actor, and he's pretty much, you know, got the world in the palm of his hand. Maybe not so much these days, but you guys know what I mean. Like, just everything he's saved up, everything's become, and he's dating someone openly who's already married. Can't quite understand. I'm married, and that's it. I have kids, I'm married, never really thought about anything else. I don't understand. I guess when you've got like millions and millions and you're super, super famous, I guess you just like switch around people more. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. This one, I got no idea what you guys are going to say. When I make a video like about Amber Heard being an Aquaman 2, I know like almost nobody wants to see an Aquaman 2 with a few people who love Jason Momoa and say they just got to see it or something like that. But the large majority, I know what they're going to say here. I have no idea. You guys, let me know. And I kind of like to get an idea on this channel since I'm doing entertainment about other things people find interesting. Obviously, Johnny Depp is of high interest. A couple other things are higher interest than usual. Ricky Gervais is higher interest than usual. So I'm always kind of testing the waters, seeing what's up. As far as Brad Pitt, I don't know about him so much personally. I like his acting. He's been in a lot of great movies over the years. So I've got no problem. But then again... A lot of times I say that and I find out something about the person, then I'm like, ooh, yeah, that does sound bad. But so far, so good with Brad Pitt. 
Wish him the best, but seems like it's a little weird to me personally. Okay, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing pop culture, depth vs. heard, little Star Wars once in a while, even diving into some of the NBA drama where they're not standing for the anthem. If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I get over it. See you next time.